When it comes to projection mapping, Resolume Arena isn't limited to simple shapes. The tools in advanced output are versatile to suit the most complex layouts. Let's show how projection mapping works on a polygonal structure with multiple sides or faces. We'll use the various tools in Resolume Arena to display content on different sections of a pentagon. First let's set up our composition. It doesn't need to be 100% accurate. And since the structure is fairly uniform, we can make the composition a 1080 by 1080 square. To projection map this more accurately, we took a quick photo of the structure using a mobile phone. Open the advanced output settings and let's load the photo to use as a guide. Make sure the input selection tab is selected and click on screen 1. On the right side under input guide, let's click load and select the photo of our polygonal structure. You can adjust the opacity as well. This guide will be used to get the correct proportions for our pentagon input map. The input map doesn't need to match the photo exactly. What we want is an accurate pentagon model. We'll align the completed pentagon to the physical structure later in the output transformation. Now let's create a slice for each of the pentagon's faces. Click on the plus button. And since each face is a triangle, let's click on the triangle icon next to polygon. Let's rotate it 180 degrees by holding shift and dragging a corner. Scale it down by holding Option or Alt-Shift and dragging a corner, and line up the bottom point of this triangle to the center of the pentagon. You can zoom in and out to get a better view by using the mouse wheel. Next we'll line up the top edge to match the top side of the photo by dragging the handle of the bounding box. Lastly, hold Option or Alt and drag one of the side handles to align both the left and right sides to the triangle in our photo. We don't need slice one, so let's delete it. Now we'll create our remaining polygons. Hold Option or Alt and drag the first triangle to make a copy. Since this is a pentagon, let's add 72 degrees to this polygon by typing plus 72 next to the current rotation value. This will make our right side. Make sure snapping is on and let's snap this to our top triangle. From here, we'll repeat the process to complete the pentagon. We'll duplicate the previous triangle, add 72 degrees to the rotation value, and snap it to the adjacent triangle. Let's rename each slice according to position. Now let's fix the alignment of our triangles to make it a perfectly aligned pentagon. Make sure snapping is turned on and click on Edit Points. Zoom in and click on the top triangle to see where the center point is. Now let's align the center point of our right triangle by dragging it and snapping. Next we can hold spacebar and drag to pan our view to the adjacent corner. Snap this corner to match the top triangle. We'll repeat this process to align all center points and adjacent corners. Snap the corner of our last polygon to match the top triangle. We now have a seamless input map of a pentagon. Click on Transform and let's select all of our pentagon slices. Let's scale this up by holding Option or Alt-Shift, and let's position it so that all the center points of our triangles are centered in the composition. By keeping the center points of the polygons in the center of the composition, circular content will appear in the middle of the pentagon. Let's go ahead and map these slices on our physical structure, but first let's select our projector, Display 2, from the Device drop-down menu on the right. We'll also clear the photo from the input guide. Click on the Output Transformation tab. Let's click on the Show Grid icon and enable both Show Slice Grid and Show in Output. Our slices are now ready for mapping on the Pentagon structure. This is how our input map is currently being projected. 
Click and drag to select all of our polygon slices and let's reposition them to the center of the structure. Select one of the polygon slices and click on Edit Points. Now we can freely move the points around to map each polygon slice. This part of the process involves eyeballing the structure while lining up the grid lines to match it. Make sure to snap points into place so everything lines up perfectly. Now that the mapping is complete, let's turn off the grid from our output. It's also a good time to save your map as a preset by clicking on the Presets drop-down menu and selecting Save As. Save and close the advanced output. With our structure mapped, we can now trigger clips and the content will be projected and conform to the shape of our pentagon surfaces. You can take this idea further and trigger content on specific faces of the structure. We'll clear layer 1 and trigger content on layers 2 and 3. Here we have the slice transform effect added to these layers. If you look at the effect parameters, notice that layer 3 projects the right and left slices. For layer 2, the top and bottom slices are projected onto. Since our content was rotated and correctly positioned in our input map, all of the content triggered onto the slices will be properly oriented. No matter how simple or complex your projection mapping projects are, the advanced output tools in Resolume Arena are easy to use and flexible for any situation.